Hello, good afternoon, Antonio. Good afternoon. Uh, nice to have you with us. Uh, it's a yeah, pleasure to be here. Let me start first with the short introduction of our team. Uh, we have Kamil Sobolewski, uh, Chief Economist of Employees of Poland, the largest uh, organization of employers. We have Daniel Krajewski, a solicitor, managing partner in MWDK, a famous law firm, and myself, CEO of Cloud Services Software House Company uh, in Poland. Uh, so, uh, according to the plan, let's start from the presentation of yourself. Okay. Please, floor is yours. Okay, so, hi everyone. My name is Antoni Jesień and I'm currently a third grader in Władysław IV High School in Warsaw. I'm extending maths, physics and IT. And the last two are the ones that I'm most passionate about. They give me a great understanding of our surrounding wor world and everything that goes on with so much modern technology around us. Throughout my high school education, I achieved quite a bit. I am a laureate in maths competition. I got a, to the second stage of physics Olympiad and I won this in schools programming competition. Currently, I'm preparing for Fizyczne Ścieżki, which is the physic, physics co uh, practical competition organized by NCBJ in Świerk. But school is not only education. I am uh, currently for the second year I am in school council, with which we are able to prepare a lot of events, concerts and meetings with, uh, with interesting people to just spice up our students' lives. Being able to um, work with other people and uh, manage them gives me, a, gives me a great understanding of how to, uh, how team, uh, how, uh, how to work in, uh, in team how to be a leader and how I can mm, give as much from myself as I can. I also prepare those events from the technical side. I'm president of our school's technical team, uh, with which we're able to engineer sound and lights for all, all sorts of events. But to further mm, educate myself in those in the things I am most most interested about, I also uh, take lots of courses and uh, courses and classes outside of school. For example, I was a participant of the latest 1991 hackathon, which was uh, focused on using AI and cybersecurity to manage news around the internet, validate them, and get rid of the fake news. I finished two mechatronics courses, a lot of maths and IT as well. My two biggest passions in life are music and football. Let's start from football. I have been playing, uh, I've been playing it for the last almost 12 years right now in Club Escola Varsovia, where I am a goalkeeper. Football is kind of my mental aid station. It gives me the understanding of how my body works and gives me the ability to just forget about surrounding world and do what I love. I believe that, uh, I also believe that uh, sport is uh, going more and more into the direction of digitalizing. Uh, and we are able, to, we will be able to combine modern technologies with football to, for example, monitor players, uh, how players uh, are on the field and how we can improve their trainings to push uh, their abilities further and further. With the music, I finished the primary grade of uh, primary school on piano. I've been playing it for the last now 11 years and it's something that I just love. Music is uh, for me, it's uh, another language which I can speak and uh, gives me this uh, beautiful understanding of how sounds and uh, all of uh, instruments work, which uh, I can later express on stage 
with my friends just to have fun with it. Also, combining music with IT is something that that has been already happening for the last 50, even, even more years. We right now have things like Spotify, Tidal, with which we are able to uh, uh, listen to music. And I believe that uh, combining that with, for example, newest technologies like AI will furthermore uh, improve user experience. Lastly, I just want to tell that I'm really, really uh, uh, pleasured to be to be here, to be able to uh, get to try uh, to get into the, the scholarship, and I'll definitely think that it will be a great experience for me. For someone that wants to study in the U.S., seeing places like Stanford and UC Berkeley will be definitely a great experience and will give me a view for, uh, of the world that I was not able to see for myself yet and to, uh, to verify all those myths surrounding everything around those uh, places. The same goes for visiting places like Google, LinkedIn and Microsoft in which uh, I, I want to work in that dis industry so being able to be there and see it for myself really just a great thing thank okay. you very much thank you thank you antoni uh, maybe i will ask the first question okay. uh, why do you think you are a good candidate for this scholarship hmm. i mm, i think that uh, i'm a good candidate because i I'm definitely the a person that wants to learn as much as uh, I can. I think that uh, being able to uh, experience so many things uh, have a great will have a great impact on my life, on my future life, and uh, having those interests and those uh, and uh, wanting to for example, uh, study in those uh, places like Stanford and East Berkeley and being able to s visit them will be something that uh, I think I will definitely mm, remember for the last, uh, rest of my life. Okay, thank you. Uh, Camille, uh, please go ahead. Uh, Antoni, hello. Thank you very much for the presentation. It was very well prepared. I'm really Thank impressed. You very much. And it's very good because the uh, activities and interests and achievements that you have didn't well result from the uh, papers that you have provided or that we got. So good that you mentioned that. So now I would like you to focus on one. Uh, you mentioned mechatronic courses. You mentioned the Schwierk project. So pick one technical uh, uh, technical uh, interest where you think you are most sophisticated and tell us more about it. Hmm. I think that uh, that will be um, probably mechatronics in which I was, uh, I got introduced to it in uh, sixth grade of primary school uh, thanks to my uh, then maths teacher. Uh, uh, she showed me, uh, he, she the, taught me about Arduino, just, you know, uh, you know gave it to me for, for a week uh, and I borrowed it and just get to play around with it. I really loved it and uh, uh, from then I finished uh, two or three courses on uh, learning how to uh, get to work with Arduino. I have uh, two or three um, in my house, uh, which I uh, use fre frequently. And uh, additionally, I, uh, for example, my uh, uncle is in uh, Stalova Vula, uh, Vola Huta, uh, and uh, he was able to show me the bigger scale version of those, uh, those my little projects with, uh, with which uh, he he's able to work with. Thank you. And can you name any achievements because you are learning and is there a field where you have 
achieved? You mentioned a lot of competitions. So what would you call your best, your greatest achievement? Looking at results and not interest mm. for now? Mm. I haven't won anything or got any awards, uh, but uh, I think the most uh, the the most thing I'm currently uh, um, happy about is actually something that I'm creating uh, right now uh, with my friend, uh, who is also very passionate about uh, mechatronics and all that stuff. We're currently building a, a rentgen's uh, bulb. And uh, uh, we want to actually, that's something we, we are currently doing for the Fizyczne uh, Ścieżki. Thank you very much. Okay, Daniel, please. Uh, Antonio, um, I would like to ask uh, about your um, uh, dreams in terms of uh, study at university. You mentioned that uh, uh, you wish to uh, study in the US uh, at what exact university and uh, why uh, this uh, specific university uh, uh, you picked? Okay, so my dream university is definitely uh, MIT. Uh, it was something that uh, took, uh, took my eye probably from the start of high school when I uh, got the feeling that okay i need to find something uh it's uh, you know it's uh, something that uh, i really love uh, them for doing which is uh, the uh, free uh, being able to be just free and uh, do what you want uh, and that's definitely taking place in uh, mit and uh, I greatly um, enjoy their uh, view on uh, learning, which is uh, that everyone gets a chance and uh, everyone is able to just try them out. Uh, and um, I think that uh, being able to study there will uh, put me on, on the right path to my future. Thank you. Okay. okay, so let's move to uh, to our feedback. So maybe let me start first. Uh, and Antonio, I'm very happy that in your presentation you show us you showed us your advantages. Yes, uh, that was a gap uh, when I read your motivation letter. It should be vice versa. Yes, motivation should be you know full of <laughs> achievements. And a presentation should be just the summary. But it's good that you uh, that you show us yes these values. Uh, I'm happy with that. Maybe you know uh, there was some gap uh, related to the benefits uh, to the benefits that are coming from the scholarship. You mentioned about your personal benefits. Maybe something about the environment. How will you share this benefit with the others? Because it's, it is not only you, but also you know the <laughs> the many different groups, people uh, that you are in. Uh, so this is my feedback. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daniel. Uh, Antonio, I, I really like uh, your dreams uh, in terms of studying in the US. Uh, I, I know that uh, from uh, um, your perspective. Um, to be uh, at the place you want to be in the future is a very important issue. So I hope uh, that uh, you will achieve your goals. And uh, um, I actually write, uh, like uh, um, that you know uh, what you want to be in the future. So you, you know that you want to study in the US. So everything should be um, coordinated. Uh, uh, and sh should be um, should be prepared uh, f for your side. I think uh, uh, to get uh, your dreams come true. So, uh, in terms of uh, studying in the US, and uh, I really admire this uh, that at this age uh, you know uh, that you want to study. Actually, and not here uh, uh, only you, uh, you have a very um, 
some high level in terms of uh, university, uh, which is one of the best one. Uh, uh, and I keep finger, uh, my fingers crossed for you. So and hope uh, you will get to this uh, to this school. So good luck and thank you. Thank you very much. Camille, your brief comment. Very briefly, because you are running out of time. Uh, remember for the future to stress your strengths, activities and interests at the very beginning so that we don't have to wait with it uh, till the presentation. And in the presentation, I liked the fact that you mentioned a friend with whom you are uh, active in one of the projects. This is important in today's world to have friends that you are working with together and not to be alone. So good luck for you for the future. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Antoni. Within two weeks' time, you will get feedback, scores. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Bye.